Hello and namaskar to all of you who are present and listening to us on this webinar. With the blessings of Bhagwan, CCI is trying to enter in a some kind of new venture. It is like peri medical issues which are related to definitely to us, but not clearly medical issues as we are regularly having the webinars all together for last so many years. I am very much thankful. to our founder members and founder trustees dr krishna and narayana the name of two gods of cci we can say so and who has initiated and given us an opportunity to start these kind of sessions also because they are very much important in our life and today in the whole webinar we'll all try to understand how important are they and how to deal with them and if you have any troubles how to overcome them so all these things are there to come please be with us for the whole session also i would like to thank dr narendra uh, doctor uh, as a national president dr ravi sir who is our general secretary and last but not the least vijay sir who is the main coordinator for all the webinars enlightening us in these times today's topic as i told bit hatke so there will be some hindi and english both the talks are allowed for us so it's good for us but main topic is how to nurture your relationship to balance your profession so basically it's something like a work life balance what basically we have are dealing with in all these things we are having lots of troubles in our life and the reason basically of having this kind of sessions is to address the issues which are which we are facing day to day but unfortunately are missed as we are not discussing it up uh before starting let me start with a few uh words of i've written in hindi for some one uh you'll address that also sangeet ki aan baan aur shaan jinhe hum sab the mante unke parishram evam samarpan ke bare mein काफी कम थे जानते स्वर सम्राग्नि दीदी का पार्थिव शरीर ही केवल हुआ है प्रभु विलीन उनकी संगीत रूपी अंतरात्मा तो रहेगी हमारे बीच दीर्घकालीन सो यू गॉट मी राइट वी नीड टू पे ट्रिब्यूट टू ऑल टाइम ऑल एज ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स फेवरेट लता जी who just left us a couple of days ago she was among the 140 crores of indians she was among the one person of the uh, who had got bharat ratna and uh, the, the, if you are, want to be aware there are only 48 bharat ratnas given till date she was one of them and only one of the females who received it there are only five females who received till date so i would like to have a, just a moment of silence in his uh, in her uh, uh, memory just we can maintain silence for a second om shanti so now we are coming to the other side of our of our lecture as we have seen that uh, lata ji had a very great lifestyle and she we let we need to pursue and understand how her relationship was in a musical sense if we can want to understand how interestingly and intricately she used her swars to get all the and create all the melodies around in the similar way we have to use our senses and emotions to create the relationships how far they go how useful they are and how are we are going to deal them for long time is the things we are going to discuss in this webinar so i will now go further that we have as a doctor as a profession we all know it's a source of income plus definitely the service to the mankind also unfortunately a doctor is not born on day one he is born in a family maybe having some medical background or a non medical background schooling college doctor post graduation 
some fellowships or some trainings and then coming to private practice so it's a huge 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 things all relations everywhere which has nurtured that doctor it's like a basically we can simply say it's like the growing of a tree with all the emotions everything going in and slowly tree coming up coming up coming all the branches going here and there uh, some branches are about his family some branches are about his professional life and some branches are about his marital life so we have all things around what we are going to discuss in short so now to tell you something about work life balance i will like to get in one of our panelist uh, dr nasir yusuf he himself does not require much of an introduction but to tell you all he is a cvts surgeon who is attached to a chest and pvs hospital calicut and sunrise and ems hospital at kochi and an adjunct uh, faculty at manipal university also will try to enlighten us about the basic as we are all know why we kept this webinar during these days is we are having the valentines week going on from 7 to 14th so today is a as we always steady day so uh, you can i may be looking at steady that's okay so you can get me attached over there that's fine so maybe one of the reasons why uh, i was chosen as a moderator for the session today so that's okay so uh dr uh, nasir sir is going to tell us about the some history about valentine day itself and his own take on his professional career how he has seen the valentine day in real life uh nasir sir over to you thank you thank you hello everybody greetings i am dr nasir yusuf a thoracic surgeon from Cochin all of you are familiar with the phrase roti kapda aur makan hum bechare surgeons ke liye it is oti kapda aur makan this brave child of dr ravi doshi and dr vijay kumar chemin chetty was absolutely out of this world and well supported i have to compliment and congratulate as well as commend the founder president of cci dr krishna ably supported by dr narayana pradeep then we have the president himself the current president dr nagarjuna and the moderator dr kinjal modi greetings to all of you and hello to all my fellow panelists as dr athris mentioned love is in the air and is everywhere in fact i had never known about valentines day in my youth or childhood until i reached dublin and there valentines day valentines week was a major major affair with people young and old both young and old alike rushing to shops buying gifts confectioneries cards and there's all love everywhere while in dublin as you can see on the screen here this is the first apparently known valentine card of the world that was sometime in 1909 painted in italy in dublin where i had my first exposure of valentine's day i heard about the relics of valentine that was in a church on white friar street just down the road from the hospital matcher mystery cordier where i was working the origins of valentine i was intrigued it is a story of love as well as tragedy it goes back to 4496 AD when the feast of saint valentine was established by the then pope gelasius and valentine lived about 200 years prior to that valentine was a priest in rome and in those days christians were being persecuted couples were in in urgent need 
of baptizing or christening or you know making the union of the of the two of them they never used to get priests until valentine the priest agreed to conduct the marriages secretly and covertly invariably he was exposed and he was condemned to death he was put in a jail and there valentine developed a relationship a friendship with the jailer in the course of their discussions the jailer mentioned that his daughter julia was blind a miracle happened and she got her eyesight back and on his way to the gallows where he was to soon to be beheaded he left a low note saying to julia from valentine and there began the story the legend of valentine's day there's further embellishment interesting legends attached to valentine's day there are keys keys are passed on to the lovers their partners and it's a romantic symbol and an invitation to unlock the giver's heart and this also has another interesting story to it that is sometimes given to children who have epilepsy and that's known as saint valentine's malady after he was beheaded saint valentine was buried in the church of praxedes in rome legend goes that julia who got her eyesight back planted a tree an almond tree at his grave and that is a symbol of abiding love and friendship thereafter what happened was it became a cultural and commercial celebration so and this took off in a big way in the early part of the 19th century and today we have an entire week starting from the 7th of february dedicated to valentines week starting with happy rose day on the 7th on the 8th happy proposed day 9th of february is happy chocolate day and finally today thursday the 10th is known and celebrated as happy teddy day and then the following day is happy promise day happy hug day happy kiss day and finally the beautiful heart being carved into or out of the others heart is happy valentines day thinking off from here on a clinical aspect i was reminded of an incident i will skip the slide because it's quite horrific but actually with a tale of a guy was brought in stabbed into a into a casualty while i was working in dublin i was the senior resident then on call so rushed to the casualty an excellent we had an excellent senior registrar she intubated the patient put lines in including not only central lines a femoral arterial line and said now sir here is there for you he can even put an iab pain triadic balloon pump and get on with him his heart is not given up yet he was reeled rolled into the theater and straight away put, put him on iab pain and as you saw the knife being there we opened the incision on either side of the knife and with the knife in situ chest is opened patient is on bypass then we remove the knife and there was a spurt expectedly but with a mop the bleeding is controlled thereafter we found that the internal i mean the left anterior descending was injured we put a graft there as a vein was harvested from the lower limb a graft was put in there and uh the heart continued to beat he was moved to the icu of course he was not conscious we didn't know what his cerebral status was and next day morning when i went for rounds i saw a lady sitting beside him and apparently i presumed it was his wife uh, and then i had to catch a flight for the summer holidays back to kochi the story does not end there and those days it was very difficult to get communication phones we never had mobile phones and finally when i came back i went up to the bed and found it empty no patient at all on that bed mind you 3 weeks and when i inquired with the nurse she said oh that guy 
Seamus. Seamus recovered and went home. And he said, what about... Uh, and then she said, uh, there's a little more... There's a twist to the tale. Uh, what had happened was his girlfriend, who was not married, but his girlfriend, was Colette. And they shared the same flat. And she was pregnant. She asked for a cigarette from him when he returned after work that particular evening, that fateful evening. Uh, he said, cautioned her that you're not supposed to smoke because you're pregnant. An argument broke out and in a fit of rage took the knife and stabbed him to the chest. And she then said, oh my God, what have I done? And thereafter called 911 and she herself brought Seamus to the hospital. And apparently next day she was sitting by him and uh, uh, they've come back together. The law is so kind to a pregnant lady, she was never even arrested. But uh, they were back together. That was a story of love and uh, bonded. And there was a strong bound of love, a feeling of anger, stabbing, always taking the life, but back together. And coming closer to home, we had this patient, Santosh, who met with an accident, unfortunately, and was paralyzed below his waist. He had only been married two months to Sharanya. Thereafter, we, uh, why did we come into the picture? He had ruptured his diaphragm and all his uh, bowel and stomach, the spleen, everything was in his left chest. We operated, put him out, but he could never walk again. But Sharanya was by his side all through his hospitalization and it's now three years and still their love is so strong that they are together. And finally, that was the social aspect, the emotional aspect of surgery and uh, patients, their relationships. This is a patient who had probably must have heard about. Uh, he was so grateful after his surgery. Doctor. Nasir Yusuf, he is the god of medical science, एक भगवान है मेरे लिए और medical science के लिए भी धन्यवाद. Thank you. The reason why I show this is because we need to develop that bond, relationship with the patient, that confidence, and that is possible. And I believe me, if you are honest and sincere in your work. That bond, the deep patients will definitely appreciate. And patience with patients is very important. Be patient with them. Honesty and sincerity in both your personal and professional relationships will only you've opened more and more doors, and you shall make progress. Trust me, everything else will follow. Friendship, fame and fortune. So it is not the strongest or the most intelligence that is key to a relationship. It is basically adaptability, compromise, adjustment. And most of the time, it will be success and happiness. So to conclude, on a lighter tone, a toast on Valentine's Day to every lovely lady bride I wish a gallant, faithful night to every faithful lover, too. I wish a trusting lady true. These two lines, the most beautiful lines I find between two lovers or two, two, two persons, is my heart has left its dwelling place and can return no more. Thank you, Nasir, sir. It was an amazing uh, scenario of whole picture of uh, how Valentine Day came in picture. And uh, unfortunately, what the main purpose was and now how it is public, I mean, sir, how it is used financially and commercially. But uh, that's fine, sir. But we got the whole picture around you and all your uh, professional uh, ex expertise also along with uh, your comments. So that was a great uh, learning uh advice from your side sir after this thing let's get the ball rolling 
I will like to introduce one by one all my panelists. The first panelist I'm going to introduce is Dr. Manjula Rao. She is a clinical psychologist uh, who is practicing as Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Uh, madam, can you hear me? Manjula, madam? Yes, yes. Doctor, yeah. I can hear you. Yeah, ma'am. So my question for you is, why are we discussing about this relationship? Why are they important in our life? Are they necessary or redundant? Please throw light on that, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you all. And especially a very big thank you to Dr. Vijay for having me here. And CCI, thank you very much. This is the second time uh, I'm being invited to this panel. Uh, yes, uh, the question that you've asked is very, very apt. And there are many, many reasons why relationships are important. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, I would like to discuss only two uh, reasons, you know, which we can uh, carry home and which will be easy for us to remember. So uh, the first and very important thing is we all human beings are born with that uh, innate need to love and need to be loved. So which means we all need that sense of belongingness. And when we don't have the sense of belongingness, uh, we have shattered confidence. Uh, we can't navigate into the world confidently. So remember, the sense of belongingness is very important. And that is why uh, relationships are important for us. And the second most important thing would be um, a relationship serves as a secure base. A good relationship is like a secure base where one can explore the world no matter what happens. And then you always return to this relation as your strength, as your safe anchor. Uh, in simple words, relationships are important because they make us move. They give the momentum in our life. And uh, I end it here. If there are any questions on this, we can take more. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, ma'am. We are not going to leave you as such. So we have ample of questions for you. So be around. I would like yes. to introduce now the second panelist. Uh, he is none other Dr. Hari Kumar. He is new to our team. Uh, he is a plastic surgeon by profession, but he's also done his MSc in psychology. So a combination of a surgeon and a psychiatrist, a rare combination to have. Uh, he is uh, practicing as hair aesthetic uh, surgeon anti-aging surgeon, uh, he's associate professor at uh, uh, Mabeshwar Host uh, Medical College and uh, is a founder of uh, Blissful Doctors uh, Organization. Uh, welcome, sir. Uh, my you, sir. question for you is that uh, there are various uh, methods to either release or suppress the anger which generally you have during your professional uh, behavior or professional relationship with your boss or subordinate because as a doctor we have to handling our uh means and corporate as we just discussing few minutes back with dr vijay in corporates uh, you have does not have identity either you're someone above someone below so you are just a part of it so many times it happens that we have to handle this kind of scenarios and we have to cordially manage these things also so please guide us on this scenario thank you so Thank you, sir, for a nice introduction and uh, good evening to everyone. Thank you, Vijay, for introducing me to this wonderful uh, platform. This is the second time I'm attending. All of you, please keep your hands like this. Those who have hands. Today, how to release the suppressed anger from us? Let us check ourselves. Most of the time, we react to the situations instead of responding. I count one to five. When I say five, you should clap. Okay? Right. All of you keep your hands. Be very, very attentive. One, two, three. I said you had to clap for the five. But I did for three. You followed me. How many of you followed me? Many of you. Because we always follow the action, not the words. Most of the time, we Instead of responding, we react to the situations. Relationships, most of the time, they will be endangered. 
when we react the suppressed anger which is very very common when we are dealing with a boss either in the workplace or a house boss okay wherever there may be if you suppress your feelings we all know the chronic suppression may lead to the musculoskeletal disorders and cardiovascular problems how to release this suppressed anger so i i i want to throw three or four simple simple uh, methods stand in front of a mirror look into your eyes and uh, start gibberish whatever comes from your mind from your mouth just to be a witness and uh, see the flow when everything is coming out you will feel you are light hearted and you can also scream shout yell at the by looking into your eyes thinking that yes your boss is in front of you or your spouse is in front of you just to yell loudly closing the doors be very very private so this will also release all your emotions and uh, go for a ride and at the outskirts close all the door all the windows of your vehicle and shout in a very very big way because we don't know how to let all our emotions and the fourth one most important is take a paper newspaper and uh, what you have to do is whatever may be the situation because we are not releasing any of our emotions emotional intelligence is more important we have no need to bother about our uh, our intelligent question but emotional intelligence is most important just to take a paper and see that you are you are tearing that emotion it may be anger or it may be whatever it is stored just uh, you might have suppressed all your feelings because you have not expressed your feelings whether with your spouse or children or your subordinates or anybody else just to tear it once you are doing this what happens you will feel you are so light when there is emptiness when there is a space you can invite a new energies and finally the most important thing is take a pillow we everybody loves pillow either teddy bear or the, and uh, what you have to do this fifth one is just to start beating it the suppressed emotions or repressed emotions when you start beating it and gradually you will get a feeling that you have to beat yourself because why i suppressed why i am not flowing with the life it is not simple fighting or flighting but it is to flow with the life when you are go, going on doing this gradually the so called anger which is going to be danger and which is going to put your life in danger all will release if you are free if you are love if you are loving yourself if you are freely flowing definitely all our reflection all our relations will improve because the relations are nothing but reflections of you thank you very nice sir we are suggestions as well all as these things you have to do but because of the time i am not uh, making you to practice yeah we hope that you are in front of us and you are doing amateurs with you really very very much soothing effects basically for trying to do our simple things but i really appreciate your inner thinking thank you sir now uh, we just go ahead to other part other aspect as i this that doctors has three aspects professional family and marital so this aspects we are going to cover one by one so first aspect we covered professional part second aspect we are going to discuss is the family issues we are doctors are the you know, human being social being so basically we are living in a family and especially if the families of doctors so already have parents or some other relatives or doctors with you it's some tension we can say or some kind of a relationship uh, uh, problems might come or maybe very easy either way around but we don't know what is the exit scenario as uh, unfortunately i didn't had that uh, relations so i need to know from people who had that relations and for telling us we have the uh, stalwarts with us so great uh, we have dr uh, samaria and uh, sir is a renowned personality uh, i know that most of us doesn't most of uh, you know him very well and he does not require any introduction on my end but still i will say a few words <laughs> about him he is a very senior consultant chest physician and uh, he is a uh, ex professor and head of uh, chest diseases at at institute of uh, bhu varanasi a uh, presently is a treasurer at uh, indian chest society and honorary secretary at uh, sark and uh, uh, an association of uh, chest physicians uh along with him uh, his son dr kumar watson uh utsav i'm sorry uh he is 
a chess by being chess physician who is uh, having his own hospital at Varanasi and practicing as a pulmonologist. So I hand over the mic to you, Dr. Samaria sir and Dr. Kumar Utsav. Please tell us about your relationship as a father and son, both being in chest medicine. Thank you. I thank CCI for giving me this opportunity to sp speak on this unique topic. And for a person for whom I have too much respect, even more respect apart from the love I already have for him. He is my father and also my valentine this time. You know, it is very difficult to live up to a, uh, to, uh, to be the son of a legendary person. You know, people will always judge you. People will always, you know, always have two thoughts about you. And they will always, you know, that uh, say that this is because of your dad and this is because of your dad. But you have to live up to it and you have to keep working the way you always do. Also, apart from that, I have, you know, some people are born great, but others, you know, they earn their greatness on the way. In the years, my father, I have, you know, never seen him backing out of the challenge. And I have never seen him, you know, taking a step back in life. He is one person who takes decisions and makes them right. And also, you know, the amount of hard work he has put in, you know, being the being, he has been the organizing secretary of Indian Chess Society and taken the Indian, Indian Chess Society from strength to strength from a 2000 or from a 250 member society to a 2500 member society indian chess society has moved leaps and bounds under him and again for working in that i have never seen him leave his office before 11 30 or 12 at night for all those years you know he has left and led with an example to all of us apart from all these things you know he has this kind of a switch when he wants to work he can work and when he wants to enjoy he has a total flamboyant fun lover in this photo you see him celebrating the birthday with his best friend this is my entire family in my childhood i am the one person sitting in the arms of my mother and from that time only you know it it uh, it is very different you know when you walk across a place with your father and everywhere you go, everybody in the entire city of Varanasi also at times at the airports of Delhi, Mumbai and also this has happened with us in the airport of uh, America, we were in New York and somebody is saying Namaste Dr. Saab, aap yahan kaise? So that happens with us often, he has earned that fame all along and it burns a deep desire in my heart to have that kind of fame for myself. At a point of time in life, you are known for your success and what you have earned in your life. But after certain years in your life, you will be known for the success your children have earned. My eldest sister, the one in the green suit, she is a deputy general manager in Samsung making big bucks for herself and her company. My youngest sister on the right, she is a leading gynecologist in the city of Varanasi. Me, I am honing my skills under him. This is the very first NAPCON we attended together as delegates. He was a faculty, I was a second year in my college and attended attending and presenting my presentation and earning an award. He is such a hardworking person and such a famous consultant that a leading newspaper in the city of Varanasi came to us once and asked him to do, uh, wanted to, they wanted to do an op-ed on him because he is such an inspiration for youngsters. He coaxed me. I am a very peace-loving peace person and like an easy life. But he coaxed me into opening a hospital recently. That is no, by the name of Agrim Hospital. So uh, it is a 20 bedded. Uh, it is an 80 bedded hospital with a 20 bedded ICU setup. In different stands of life, you know, people live a way, and then people inspire others to le lead the way. That is how I see my father. That is I've always seen him. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dr. Utsa, for your so nice words. In fact, I am not, I am not uh, that person which you are talking about. I am a very simple person. Otherwise, 
and i did my work as a, as a, as did any as would have done by any other father in fact it is his energies dr usos energy which helped me his his energy energies gives me strength to take the conference nepcon to the varanasi because of him i took the nepcon to the varanasi and and we when i was applying for the nepcon for the first time the people say why you are applying so why you are not applied to us i because i was not having the strength and now i am having energy and strength both with as my son is with me so i am taking the nepcon now and this was a, we are going to organize nepcon at varanasi from 31st march to 3rd april we are doing the conference here nepcon hopefully it is going to be wonderful conference i i invite you all to come to the varanasi during that time for the conference as a delegate and as a registration as a speaker the when in fact it was his energy and we are absolutely working together and and it was my retirement when i was retiring in 2016 from institute of medical sciences palaus university as a jodi from the department and it was during that time he joined me and it was then our journey has started uh, initially i thought that probably there may be some clash between the old thought and newer thoughts but it, it has never happened and we our journey is continuing and is still continuing strength by strength and his presence gives gives us strength to the to develop our center one of the wonderful center in varanasi chest center in varanasi we have developed we have added the bronchoscopy center thoracoscopy center and we are going to add this year only the ultrasound unit the pulmonary rehab unit and uh, construction work is already on allergy clinic also going to add this year only because of his strength we are doing this thing it is it was possible because of his strength and his energies with us i think it was wonderful joining our wonderful association up to up to of us beside the, our relationship as a father son we are colleagues at uh, colleagues at our center when we work together and he never call me papa he ne- always says sir and i was always speak him to dr saab so it was the relationship goes on and hopefully in future it will continue as such thank you uh i also want to thank cci for this unique and pleasurable experience of organizing this valentine event and i especially want to thank dr nh krishna sir vijay sir ravi doshi sir and narayan pradeep sir for having this initiative and atri sir also and giving us the opportunity to present our relationship thank you so much it was really wonderful samaria sir and dr kumar to listen from you regarding your great bond and because of your able guidance dr utsav is doing great in his field and we all wish that definitely he will flourish in his career and all the best for your upcoming conference also sir uh, i would like to listen from you sir physically as uh, why did you put your son in the same field you could have chosen some other field also because chest medicine out after the scenario of covid it is the top most chosen branch nowadays you can say or the most liked branch the more we can say the covid warriors and heroes everywhere but i know that when you were there sir it was the most dejected feel it was few beds in some medicine ward lying there and all the patients were not going to be seen the medicine people are sent to test tv department so with that seen in your mind sir Why did you select it that Utsav should go go for a chest physician, sir? Please guide us for that. Uh, you are you are mute. You are mute. You can't hear. Uh, if I am not wrong, we are not able to hear you.
are you able to hear us now yeah yeah perfect perfect please yeah so so uh, as we told that you know uh, i like uh, in the video also i told that i like an easy life so it's all about uh, the choices we make so basically being a doctor is always a hard work sir for everybody and uh, uh, you know there's a curve that we have to take that 15 years curve that 10000 hour curve that everybody has to has to pass on so doing that and uh, you as a uh, practitioner yourself you know that you know uh, that uh, as a youngster you will make mistakes but there is nobody to guide you through it so i wanted to save that 15 years time and lessen it to that 5 year to 6 year maybe 10 year bracket and that curve is definitely short, uh, shortened when you sit with an expert you learn from your mistakes is the patient is sometimes maybe unhappy with him goes on to show him and then he can tell me that you were wrong here and many a times even when you are not wrong patient just wants to show you know patient just wants to show uh, to a specialist he has come to show to a specialist and he feels that he wants to show and then you have to learn to wait you have to learn to you know uh, you have to learn to have, be patient you even when you are right there is a way of presentation to things that's where i learn from him every every day the patients the patient's aspect of medicine is too important and too much neglected that's where you know the seniors come into play that's where they win the game that's what i learn from him every day so your take on this please sir Pardon? your take on this <clears throat> in fact it is the his energy and my skill and we both when join together it helps a lot at our center we work together in fact we Basi work basically sir also you asked you asked about why so i, I tell you why sir i have grown up seeing him treating patients in a treating patients around himself so sir that was the vision i have always imagined myself sitting in that particular chair and doing what he was doing your father is your hero as you grow up matlab you know it is too difficult too difficult for family matlab parents to mess it up that image of a hero so uh, your parents are your childhood heroes and i have seen him like that and that's what my permanent image in my uh, brain was and i'm going to be this person uh, when i grow up so that's definitely, that's definitely. why that's why the choice of the subject definitely dear you always say in hindi ek aur ek 11 in your case it is definitely there your father's uh, experience mm -hmm. and your courage would definitely get 11 over there definitely no doubt about it i think we can say 22 because year 2022 is going on so all the best for you uh Thank my next you. question is for dr manjula uh madam just wanted to know that if a son or a daughter uh is there whose parents are doctors or professionals and some stress generally they face so what kind of issues you must have seen in your practice uh, the when doctors come with their own children and uh, some pressure may be going on to become a doctor something like that during the school days or college days or if they are doctor themselves then the practice related issue something like that can you please share your experience on that manjula ma'am thank you yeah sure doctor so let me uh, extend this question a bit and uh, extend it beyond to not only doctors doctor parents but parents in general parents who have been high achievers and what do they expect from their children so uh the problem comes when we say uh, there is pressure on children that is because uh probably we look at human beings in fragments we do not look at the other human being let it be my son or my daughter or my father or mother or my spouse i look at that human being in a fragment that is whatever role he is to me so when i look at my son not as a human being but as my son when i use the word my that mean that implies attachment to him when we get attached to something uh, like for example we get attached to our land so therefore we put a barbed wire or a build a wall and we start possessing that if somebody tries to take it we start getting jealous of it and we think that all this is love but love is not jealousy love is not anger love is not possession love is not that attachment at all so all this comes when we see uh, look at a human being in fragments 
So we start having something called a role expectation. He is my son, therefore he has to be like me. Or I have some belief system which says uh, only this profession will be able to fetch him, uh, you know, his needs, and he can become a successful person like me because I think I'm successful. So when I think of all these things based on my belief, I put a lot of pressure, and I think that is the only way. Uh, to take care of him. That is the only way that will help him to succeed, whatever definition of success I have for myself. Here I would like to uh, talk something unnecessary. Forgive me for this, but this is interesting. So this is from uh, the uh, one of the Brahma Leelas. Uh, so this is a story. Uh, it, of course, it may not be true because it's from mythology. It's just to enjoy and get a good insight into the story I'm narrating. So Brahma decided that he would kill all the parents once their children uh, turned out five years. He said the animals were adapting very well, but only human child was always dependent on his parent and he was getting attached. And therefore, there was no pain in his life. And without much pain, he's not going to become a great thinker. So he said uh, he's going to kill the parents and that way population also could be controlled and all the, those discussions the gods were having. And most of the gods sided with him. Uh, but uh, Shiva was against this uh, plan because he himself had two small children and he was very much attached to them. And, you know, nobody wanted to make him sad or angry. Otherwise, all would suffer his wrath. Uh, so that's, what, that's how this plan got cancelled. But on a serious note, if we think of it, I think it, ha it can give us a great insight. Somewhere, you know, because of our attachment and looking at our people, our sons and daughters as fragments, as a part of, not as a complete, but a part human being, as my son, my daughter, that way we try to put a huge pressure on them. And therefore, we feel that they have to become like us. Uh, and if the child also has anxiety problem, that is, if the child is anxious, dependent, like the parents, he will do well. I mean, he will study, he'll become like his parents. But later on, after he's married and settled down, when he doesn't need this much of uh, an anxious energy, then definitely he has to come and visit a psychologist or a psychiatrist later on. Okay. But if the child is not anxious, then he develops something called uh, externalizing problems where anger outbursts are there and he gets into other kinds of, you know, um, relationships outside the family. Uh, so if the child has anger issues, uh, it signifies we need to look into our parenting, uh, a, a bit of introspection where am I suffocating my children with my ambitious goals for them? Thank you, doctor. It's really nice to balance your attraction and over possessiveness with your children. It's nicely been put forward by you, ma'am. I really appreciate your points, as well as your story that to leave the children on their own at some point of time is also very important. Let them think about themselves. Perfect. Now we need to know more tricks to handle our frustration and the anger, what ma'am told about. So I invite Dr. Kumar again. Uh, how to to not carry the frustration of our office to home and vice versa. So yes. can we have some tricks on that, sir? We are now fond yes. of your tricks. So please. All of you keep your I fingers can... like this. Sir, sir, we'll do that. Yes, all of you keep your fingers like this. One finger in forward direction. Yes, try to do it. Yes, I am very, very good. I am very, very great. Yes, say to yourself, affirm yourself. And this one, back. Yes, roll it to the front and this one to the back. Simultaneously, try to do it. When you are doing, yes, you will feel some difficulty. Either you can, you can do either positive thinking or negative thinking. Not both at the same time. Mind has the faculty of thinking one at a time. This frustration is nothing but all the, all the negativity, what we have built in ourselves. So, begin with your day with the mind calming techniques. I want to ask one question to all of you. Where exactly the mind is located? Some people they say it is brain. Some people they say it is in the heart. 
but as a surgeon we have not observed mind there i want to show the location of the mind if you know the location of the mind you can catch hold of it all of you catch your nose yes with closed eyes just be like that for 10 seconds with closed eyes once the breathing is ceasing or ceased your thoughts the various thoughts will cease will stop just to hold the breath i count 1 to 5 1 2 yes be like that 3 today i want to show the location of the mind mind mastery is life mastery yes just hold your breath breath connects body mind and soul breath connects breath is the bridge between outer and inner yes be like that 1 2 3 yes you can remove your hands otherwise it will come in the newspaper next day dr hari has taken uh, the likes of many many great uh, audience here from this yes yes wonderful sir you had to understand why the breath is most important breath and mind are interlinked if you catch hold of your breath you can catch hold of your mind all these frustrations whatever we have just to begin the day with the very positive vibes in yourself how can it be achieved just i'll show only 30 minutes of technique to you all of you by practicing this i scored best out going student in ms general surgery by doing this i stood state second in plastic surgery so if you teach this simple technique to your patients or to your family members definitely all will be at ease not with a disease so all of you just to keep your hands yes today will let us realize the importance of the breath four times short breaths all of you do with me along with me fifth one is long breath four times short breath fifth long breath this is one cycle please repeat it for five cycles with closed eyes four times short breath fifth long breath breath mastery is mind mastery mind mastery is life mastery four times short breath fifth long breath as you are doing your body is becoming very very lighter very very energetic four times short breath fifth long breath four one is one cycle like that repeat it for five to 10 cycles your face is glowing with closed eyes in a comfortable posture yes do it another three cycles as you are doing so you are becoming much brighter and your mind is becoming empty your heart is getting so much of positive vibes filled with love now have a smile on the face clasping the fingers we have done for half minute another 15 seconds with closed eyes observe your breath all chest physicians all breath lovers observe your normal breath how it is going in and coming out as you are observing the breath you feel so ease peaceful happy joyful last 5 seconds breath is becoming very very slow you feel very very light breath is reaching every part of your body every cell of you as the breath is reaching all the frustration stored in every cell every part of your body is mitigating getting vaporized last 5 seconds so much of joy you are feeling as you are witnessing the breath as you are observing normal natural easy soft breath last 5 seconds you can feel the breath reaching every corner of your body making more oxygenized so much of joy is flowing so much of coordination between every cell frustration is compartmentalization coordination cooperation is life slowly slowly with smiling face slowly slowly open your eyes 
thank you this is a simple i really love in transformation rather than information so this is a very very simple technique if you practice blissful breath observation the frustration will go and every cell every part of your body with so much of joy so much of power so much of peace and positive vibes thank you yes sir a big thank you dr kumar sir it was really how many of you felt good please raise your right hand wow oh, wonderful if you do for example if you are 40 do it for 40 minutes the four one cycle you can do for 21 times you all know if anything is done for 21 times it becomes your habit so if you regularly do first initially on the bed or before going to bed so if you do this you will be with positive vibes all your surroundings will be a lot of positive vibes and peace so if you are cool if you are very very happy you can also create such positive vibrations either in the home or in the workplace thank you thanks a lot dr hari kumar right. it was really amazing to as a chess physician to observe your breath and uh, to uh, go over it and basically feel the positive vibes with the help of breath it was really amazing sir thank you thanks a lot so now we'll move ahead to the next chapter of our discussion we have covered the professional part we have covered the family aspect also now we are coming to the main part of the valentine day what we call as the life partner or the main valentine generally what we call hum to baithe the haath mein haath liye hum to baithe the haath mein haath liye ek dusre se kar rahe the taka jaaki एक दूसरे से कर रहे थे टाका जाकी पता नहीं कहां से कुछ लोग आए पता नहीं कहा से कुछ लोग आए और हमारे हाथ पर बंदवादी राखी इट हैपन्स मेनी टाइम्स ऑन वैलेंटाइन डे यू आर एट सम पब्लिक प्लेस एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली यू आर कॉट अप बाय सम पीपल अराउंड एंड दे माइट इंटरप्रिटेड समथिंग एल्स एंड लैंड अप इन प्रॉब्लम so be careful as uh, cci we don't endorse uh, any event as uh, valentine day anything but yeah we are trying to inculcate our own relationship in a positive manner and how more positive manner can be understand from the couple themselves so i will like to invite our next two panelists dr mahesh jansari and dr mansa dash they are a chess physician couple both are chess physicians uh, amazing to know and uh, mahesh is a good friend of mine and everyone in cci knows him because the work he does for cci everyone and uh, as a, a great personality he has he presently is working as an assistant chess assistant professor at km hospital in mumbai and his wife has just completed her md and she is uh, going to join professionally at some of the hospitals uh, recently so i will like to listen from both of you how physically you manage your uh, marriage life and uh, what your takes on the valentine so over to you mahesh and mansa hello everyone very good evening thank you cci for giving us an opportunity to be part of this webinar thank you krishna sir narayana pradeep sir narendra sir ravi sir and hats off to you Vijay Kumar Chennam Chitti Sir and Ravi Sir for conceptualizing this unique webinar. Um, Valentine's Day um, is a day to celebrate love, affection. Be it our parents, spouse, siblings, friends, and the list is endless. This day reminds us to convey our love or perhaps to give voice to that has remained unsaid. I am Dr. Mahesh Chansari. working as an assistant professor in department of pulmonary medicine at km hospital mumbai i want to introduce my valentine my wife dr mansa dash who is also a budding pulmonologist good evening everyone well many people say that a doctor should marry a doctor but of same stream still an illusion however we started our journey when i was a pulmonologist in making i was a and i belong to the doomy world of interns who didn't know what is actually going on 
and in every posting it's like aakhir chal kya raha hai bhai so um i was doing uh, my md pulmonary medicine residency at nar hospital mumbai and taking you 7 years back on valentines week on the rose day day for the lovers of our college and coincidentally it's part of our nair hospitals cultural festival aram also on this day uh, roses are either dedicated seriously to one's crushes or uh, part of one's prank where in uh, innocent people like us fall prey to our friends so one such prank was on us and we strangers give roses to each other on the stage in front of hundreds of people in the auditorium and um, there is a saying that sometimes the one thing you um, you are looking for is the one thing you can't see so we were there in hospital working there maybe passing by so many times but we never never notice each other and this started the beginning of our story then you know all uh, there were um, phone calls messages meetings and efforts from my friends dr kapil ayer and dr sapil kulkarni and her friends also supported us a lot finally with a lot of yes no denials we tied the knot on 8th march 2019 with everybody's blessings um on that day uh, one thing was constantly running in my mind that uh, i had heard of serendipity in science uh, you know what is serendipity it's an accidental discovery of something and um, i never thought uh, it could be in my life it was an accident on the rose day when we happened to give rose to each other and finally we got married and um, i would like to share my wedding card uh, which is a bit uh, different and mansa really supported me for that well i married him during my residency days wherein uh, it was difficult to manage home uh, work uh, studies as we were in same field and uh, he, but he also guided me professionally be it procedures uh, cases casualties calls senior junior uh, ups and downs etc etc but uh, unfortunately at the end of the day we ended up discussing our professional life more as compared to our personal life the real test in our relationship was uh, during covid on feb 2020 i came to know about my pregnancy and uh, it was the time when everybody was new to covid and being a chest physician and an anc uh, there was a potential threat and i was really very scared about that so he ensured that i sealed my mask and wore protective kits properly as uh, he was a pulmonologist himself he knew the difficulties i have to face during my postings be it covid or other infectious diseases during lockdown um we were alone we did all our household work uh, together though it was challenging for both of us to manage work home my pregnancy but at last we sailed through this difficult time with victory he used to pick me up from my hospital wait there till i finish up my evening calls bring me back home safely to avoid any covid contact in the public transport and this is still being continued even after my baby was born my every casualty call was his casualty call as well and i can remember a case um, when i had to put an icd to a patient in a casualty as a life saving procedure at 2 am in the night and the patient was in delirium and aggressive to put an icd and this was quite challenging um, mentally exhausting for me so he was there beside me holding the patient firmly till i put the icd and the ba- at the back of my mind i knew that there is somebody who can act as a backup at that crucial point if i fail so he was there the whole night till the patient was stabilized and after few days fortunately the patient got uh, discharged uh, during my uh, md examinations he took leave to manage uh, home baby and also discuss uh, important topics 
and to our surprise the topics we discussed just before the exam were actually my short questions so in short he was a talking pulmonary medicine book at the nth hour of my exam so with his support and of course my department support i completed my important phases of my md and during my md like uh, my marriage um, baby and my md completion i'm really very thankful and grateful to that thank you um, thank you mansa for saying uh, such a lovely words for me uh, but you know all uh, unfortunately uh, we do have sometimes different school of thoughts for same case or same scenario uh, but you know um, at last uh, who wins i promise her to be with her any time every time and everywhere uh, but never thought that god would make her my ghost the conferences bhi sath mein attend karenge aur webinar bhi fortunately even though uh, she is junior to me um, i'm still learning from her a lot um lastly i would say uh, i followed my heart and it led me to her so we so very happy valentines day to everyone The last message. Very happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, a last message for everyone. Um, relations are more important than anything in this world, and we all witness importance of this during the pandemic. Give equal importance to your relations. So be vocal and express your feelings for people you love and you care for. Thank you. right so basically sorry for the there was some technical clinch uh, from the mahesh side i just came to know he had some emergency to attend so he got a phone call from the hospital and that is why his connection was uh, not coming at that time so there was a clinch in the connections uh, but i think some mansai will, will be there with us so for one next questions later on before going to further questions i like to introduce two more panelists a very nice couple we have with us uh, one is dr atri gangopadhyay He is one of the backbones of CCI. Everyone knows about him. Just to still tell, he is a chest physician practicing at the Pulse Hospital, Ranchi. And uh, along with his uh, uh, better half is Dr. Shabrani uh, Gangopadhyay. Sorry if I have spelt it wrong. Uh, uh, is wrong, uh, ma'am. And uh, she is not a she is not a medical person. She is a non-medical, but has done a doctorate in Bengali literature. So she is still actually a doctor. Uh, among all of us uh, medical doctors around and she the author to a book uh, which is a uh, child's uh, children's book and uh, she also basically hails from rachi jharkhand so uh, i will like to ask first question to dr sabrani uh doctors often married uh must get married in their financial crisis conditions stages when when they are in a, either internship or during the residency days generally those are the days when the couple get together and get married so what are the feelings while regarding marrying a doctor who is not that rich at that time but what did you see in dr atri in, in simple words while marrying him up uh first of all i would like to thank cci for inviting me thank you so much cci family for inviting me and for such a lovely discussion and uh, coming to the question i should say that uh, the time was really tough um, but we enjoyed a lot at that time we used to stay in delhi we used to eat and enjoy the uh, street food yes we are from a very middle class family we know our values our limitations so we search happiness each each and every small things that time was a tough time but not a bad time we enjoyed it i really like your statement ma'am it was a tough time not a bad time really nice really nice thank you ma'am and uh, one thing i would like to say more that please. i used to tell atri today you enjoyed dal and roti tomorrow i will give you biryani <laughs> so now dr atri will enjoy biryani daily now <laughs> 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 to come to dr atri uh, still we have something to ask uh, dr kumar uh, we need to get his guidance 
on basically uh, as we just discuss the financial part so basically doctors generally have a income tax payer face many a times very dull sad face many times when they are facing others to convert it to a smiling face in front of patients in front of uh, family members so what can be some jargon can be used or what uh, jadoo can be done to make this kind of people i just want some jadoo again from dr uh, kumar Sir, again. So, Hari sir, can you please be there? Very good, sir. So, all of you, show your finger, right index finger. Can I share my screen with some uh, slides? Is it possible? Okay. All of you, do like this. Those who have hands, do like this. Some people they won't do. Use it, or otherwise we lose it. It is beautifully said. Just to do like this. Yes, reverse. Catch hold of, catch hold of, catch hold of your knee. I said you have to catch hold of your knee. I think once again most of the people just followed simply blindly. There is a saying. There is a saying. Society is spoiled not by the bad people or ill effects of the bad people. It is the silence of the good people. So doctors are. doctors know everything about the life but they won't speak about the life we speak only about the medicines and we'll speak about something else but not about the mind mental health and spiritual health why because spiritual health is the root physical health is the fruit so here the spiritual health brings the smile from the soul otherwise plastic smile will be there how to have that pure smile most of the people we observe we say we pretend that we are very very busy and uh, will have very very serious face but patient or the society expects us to have smile to have very very positivity why it is not coming today i'll do just 30 seconds of a simple session which can help you to look even into your enemy with smile even you can teach this simple technique to the patients so that they can look into the pain with smile they can look into the death with smile this is called what we call mastery we read all medicine surgery gynecology but we have not read about what we are truly are this valentines day speaks about how to have love with yourself if you love yourself definitely you can give space to your spouse you can know the society better why because by energy wise we are all very well connected this is what quantum physics or quantum energy field speaks about okay all of you just keep your hands like this with crossed legs keep your spine erect because everybody here are less than 100 years so you all are youth, youthful young people yes with closed eyes start with a smile on your face just with closed eyes start smile on the face no income tax paying face inspiring face with closed eyes as you are observing the breath we are doing going to do only for one or two minutes that's all because i'm a surgeon i always believe in shortcut procedures not lengthy procedures yes with closed eyes start smile on your face beautifully the smile is spreading all over the face yes with closed eyes please my concern is you have to teach to your your kids your patients doctor in arabic means dukhtara who relieves the dukha in everybody's life have a smile on the face you are spreading these smiles all over the face try to do it we want to expand clinics we want to expand our name in our society now spread your smiles spreading all over the face spreading your neck chest every part of your body half minute is over another half minute spread these smiles from head to toe very simple we are improving our bank balance let us improve our smile quotient spreading all over the body reaching every cell of you as you are spreading you are becoming more and more lighter more and more radiant vibrant just to spread the smiles we are experts of medicine let us become experts of meditation too we are experts of surgery 
let us become experts of our soul too yes you are spreading the smiles soulful smiles everywhere last 10 seconds now spread the smiles in area of discomfort in your body it may be back ache or it may be some discomfort in your body spread the smiles as you are spreading what a wonder that area is also smiling the so called neglected abandoned areas of our life which are stored in the form of discomfort it is getting mitigated last 5 seconds all of you are doing along with me to spread the mental and spiritual health everywhere yes now you are spreading these smiles into the area of discomfort what a wonder that area is smiling like that spread these smiles into your room into your workplace into your family everybody are smiling because of you last 5 seconds spread these smiles into your city spread these smiles into whole nation whole globe is smiling last 5 seconds what a wonder as you are spreading the smiles you are becoming healthy you are becoming positive you are becoming a magnet of joy spread these smiles spread gradually whole globe is smiling from this state bless your body what a wonderful body you have beautiful body it may be stout it may be black still it is beautiful bless your body bless your family with smile bless all your patients patients are wonderful teachers bless all of them whole bless all your work now slowly slowly bring your hands to namaskaram position with closed eyes express gratitude to your parents your teachers your patients everyone all around thank your body it is bearing all the burden all the nonsense you are doing throughout your life thank it thank everyone and slowly slowly a smiley face with pure smiley face not cast oil constipated face but with smiley face slowly 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 open your eyes give a high five to the screen and all the 13 or 15 members here happy valentines day happy valentines day yes how many of you enjoyed this spreading of the smiles all over the body even into the suffering whatever you have yes even though we are doctors we to have so many problems just to fill that area with smiles and spread the smiles if you learn this technique you will start loving your problem we all know accept your life accept the life as it is that is what we say but practically we can implement that just spreading the smiles everywhere if you do this frustrations will come down and all the anger will come down you will be smiling even at uh, the patient or all torturing person also with smile thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much I was really enjoying and the best thing i like about uh, your saying is be your own valentine that's the best thing you can do thank you sir so now we move ahead uh, i would like dr mansa to come in uh, both of you actually are the representatives of the same field couple we can say why did you take because you were intern when uh, we i think so got uh, at least uh, introduced to each other so why did you select the field of chess physician a chess medicine you can say when your husband was already chess physician uh, yeah, yes sir thank thank you so much sir and uh, thank you cci first of all to make me part of this uh, lovely seminar and uh, happy valentines day to everybody well uh, me taking up uh, chess medicine or i am chosen to be a chess physician is totally a serendipity in a scientific language if you say and uh, our meeting like me and my husband both together is also a serendipity 
wherein uh, i was a ug and he was a pg and we didn't know each other at all i didn't know who is mahesh and he didn't know who is mansa so we have a good uh, very big first festival cultural festival in uh, our college that is aram and that's a rose day so pranks are there obviously from friends side so uh, we call out uh, we dedicate roses and all and this is how a prank was made on us and uh, uh, we dedicated roses and we came to stage and then from that the story began and then he came to know that who is mansa who is mahesh on that stage itself so from that our story began and uh, we finally married so this is totally a serendipity nothing was decided nothing was done just like that i didn't know what was uh, pulmonary medicine much i didn't know much about it i always wanted to take up medicine but since uh, my parents uh, are also doctors <laughs> and they were more keen for me taking up uh, surgical branch so that time uh, that was first time where neat came up with uh, uh, online counseling so i filled up my choices first being medicine then surgical then surgical and then pulmonary medicine in somewhere in between like theek hai kahi mila to le lenge it's like but somehow destiny was something like that so i got up with pulmonary medicine and it was just like that it was my last chance to take up pulmonary medicine so i this is how i came into the field of medicine pulmonary medicine otherwise i didn't have any <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah. pulmonary medicine found you basically. You can say so. That's fine. That's always that as a fate would have it. Yes, yeah. Pulmonary medicine found you over there. Yeah, as, uh, you yes. are the true product of we can say Valentine Day. So the Valentine week and everything has been very fruitful in your life. Hope it uh, works so wonders in the future life also. Yeah. Right. So I would like now would like to get in Dr. Atri sir uh, on uh, the question answer sessions. Uh, sir, generally a medico chooses a medico. Generally, generally they mingle well. That's why the reason is said. So, why you chose a non-medico? Your take on that, sir, please. Okay, great. Actually, uh, I belong from a very humble family, and when in, I was doing MBBS, actually I had to give tuitions in my free time to support my education, support my family. So during MBBS, I could not afford to fall in love. because as you had mentioned and dr nasir had mentioned that these days valentine is about lot of commercialism and consumerism there was no way i could have afforded chocolates teddies those uh, what cinema halls and etc so during mbbs since i was supporting myself some part of my family so my priority was finish mbbs get a job and उसके बाद ही मुझे हक है प्यार करने की उससे पहले तकदीर मुझे प्यार करने का हक नहीं देता आई कैन ट्रांसलेट दिस टू इंग्लिश माय इंग्लिश इज नॉट एज गुड एज नासिर सर सो बेसिकली व्हेन आई कंप्लीटेड एमबीबीएस एंड लैंडेड जॉब यू कैन टेल दैट शी वाज द फर्स्ट पर्सन आई केम अक्रॉस आफ्टर आई लैंडेड अ जॉब मीन्स आई डि नॉट है टू वरी वॉट आई विल ईट टू ऑल so she was the first person i came across and luckily when we started talking we found that we had lot in common thinking in common ambitions were similar and maybe it clicked over there i would not say that preferring a non medic over medico but maybe due to opportunity and consequences she was the first person i came across when i believed that i had earned the right to fall in love <laughs> that's true sir basically dil mile to fir stream milne ki zarurat nahi hai एक्चुअली <laughs> so i was very much busy with my studies but yes i uh, used to enjoy each and every moment of my life i used to think ke i have to leave the city i have to leave the state uh, so it's better to enjoy the day with your parents and your friends and atri will be always with me i can spend my life i can uh, go to holidays with atri any day anywhere 
so he could not make a long call for me and i never uh, told him ki why you are not calling me and like this so we enjoyed each and every moment i think that's really very sweet of you ma'am thank you uh <laughs> dr manjula i like to step in now uh why this it's a, a troublesome question basically coming up now so basically why do you think we live in conflicts are they are self invited or they are loaded upon us can you please enlighten on that madam mm. so it can be that uh, that we have got habituated to it so it has become a habit uh, that i behave in a certain manner and i just get used to it and we continue to live in conflict now on a broader scale if you see yes every human being at some point of time or the other will have a conflict it can be conflict with uh, relationship with oneself that is when i talk of relationship with oneself uh, that is the relationship i have with <coughs> relationship i have with money the relationship i have with my time uh, with my using my free time relationship i have with nature and then comes relationship with the others and the family members now all in all these relationships if somewhere my relationship with myself that is with uh, food and time and you know uh, my spiritual aspect etc if somewhere there is disturbance in that then definitely there is going to be disturbance in the relationship what i have with others now it is uh, you know it is too challenging for me to look into it to introspect into this whole thing so i say it is better i live like this than uh, going and uh, you know trying to uh, correct it and also over a period of time uh, we develop many belief systems like um, we believe that maybe the other person is this way and he cannot be changed or maybe i start believing that i am not capable of change or i'm inadequate in some ways or i'm not given the priority or i'm not given the right kind of attention you know these kind of beliefs we form about uh, ourselves about the others and also about the world that is we generalize a lot of things uh, that maybe the world doesn't understand me or it's not a very kind place and all that so these belief systems and our habits make us live in conflicting relationships and not only that we might have strong role definitions like for example um if we have a, a, let us say we come from india we come from um tamil nadu or kerala or bengal anything we have certain defined roles that women have to be like this men have to be like this so those strong role definitions also uh, make us tolerate those conflicts and sometimes we don't take them as conflicts unless you know we are uh, a lot of distress is caused by them and our functions get impaired uh, then we realize we are in conflicts otherwise it's mostly unconscious and uh, to a large extent we put up with it thank you doctor so much very nicely explained by you ma'am uh, dr shabrani basically just wanted to know one thing that uh, you are not in the same field so professionally you are different but are there any incidences in your life that you are able to help dr atri in spite of not being in the same field professionally uh i try to help him mentally actually i try to boost him so that he can do his work properly he has a very uh, responsibility towards his society and the people and the family also so i try to manage the family i try my best to support him each and every step so that he can go easily he can give his time to the patients and hospitals i would quickly want to give a secret over here for anyone who is a doctor non doctor couple people who are doctor doctor couple na their social circle is full of doctors so full of competitors but thanks to my wife who is a writer her social circle is writer dramatist singer poet college professor history teacher 
सो आई एम एक्चुअली गेटिंग अज पेशेंट को हॉट फ्रॉम हर सोशल सर्कल वॉट मोर प्रोफेशनल हेल्प सी कैन गिव टेल वेरी नाइस स्पीच सर थैंक्स अलॉट थैंक यू थैंक यू सर so it's amazing to listen about that as that aspect of life also thank you sir uh mansa i like to put out a similar question to you that basically you are being the same field so is it possible in some time that uh, you or mahesh are doing the same work or mahesh is helping you or you are helping mahesh mahesh sometime has you had some incidences like that uh yes uh i think it's more of vice versa that he helping me more because i am junior and he senior so be it my thesis my synopsis anything i think half of it is written by him i'm sorry if anybody is no problem about what catch you now don't worry submit <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's submitted and uh, uh like i already mentioned about my casualty thing my md and i have a baby so being with the baby it was very difficult for me to read everything and and i i i also knew that if you have a baby uh aapko ek akela isolated time nahi milne wale you never go, gonna get that that you'll just on your lights sit in a silent place and read no this is not going to happen ever because such a small baby one year old is not going to leave you like he was just three four months old so he used to help me with the all the updates and whatever he could give me which i was quite aloof so with that and in future also like if we are planning to uh, uh set up any private or something and i have uh, family responsibilities so he might just take up some time out and uh, be there for uh, some hours in that clinic and then i take over or i am not being able to see the patient so he is there so this is and uh the biggest thing in my these md days is that uh i'm a very introvert person i always think one what one will re- definitely think about me so i always had a fear that what if i ask such silly questions to my seniors what will they think about me whatever if the casualty call be 12 at night at 1 at night any any junior maybe everybody has been through this phase that they might think ki yaar abhi phone karenge to kya hoga dant padegi ya kya hoga nahi pata so he was there at home any casualty call any uh, problem any anything in my ward whatever i am facing any silly question be it the dumbest of the question i would come across during my md days i used to call him and ask him and the that's how i used to feel better so he was always there pushing me up uh, mentally really really good one sir mansa ma'am that's what husbands are for isn't it <laughs> <laughs> And one thing to correct you, Mansa, that you are not the boss of the house, so don't get uh, overwhelmed by he being senior and you being junior. You are the <laughs> boss of the house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So now uh, moving ahead, uh, I would like to introduce my you can say second last uh, panelist of the talk, one of the stalwarts of CCI. He also does not need any introduction. Is none other than Dr. Raja Dar. Uh, sir is a very well-known personality to everyone. very well spoken well learned personality he is a uh, uh, very chess senior chess physician uh, practicing and being is a head and director at uh, birla hospital kolkata he is a very good quiz master and uh, we can say the uh, the quiz master of chess uh, society we can say everywhere he is very dedicated to spread his knowledge and uh, uh, enlighten everyone there so i will like dr rajadar to come on the uh show and please guide us further around his uh, aspect of a professional relationship with uh, the people around what he is practicing and uh, what the things he is having the relationship along with his uh, staff and uh, uh, his uh, colleagues thank you hello friends it gives me great pleasure to be here with you today and i want to thank cci for inviting me to this very important event today we have a novel topic however it's a very important topic where we speak about relationships and nurturing them 
both from a personal and prof from a professional perspective. We are in Valentine's week, that's 7th to the 14th of February. Today happens to be Teddy Day. We've got acronyms all the way till the 14th when we celebrate Valentine's Day. Today is the day to celebrate the entire week. When we go to work, when we work professionally as doctors, there's a lot of interplay of emotions. And these emotions are made of the relationships that we build during the process of work. There are certain relationships which encroach on our personal space. There's overlaps like you would see today, overlap where the son and the dad work together in the professional field. The son being inspired by the dad in every step, the personal relation becomes a professional one at some point. Then there's the husband and the wife working together in the professional space and still maintaining their personal relationships. These can be very pleasurable, but equally can be challenging. On a more professional front, we work in teams. These teams interact with each other and it becomes a responsibility for all of us to support each other. The team leader supporting the juniors, the juniors looking up to the seniors and often these professional relationships become a close bond, which becomes like a family. It's these family bonds which keep teams together, which keeps departments, hospitals and institutions together. And these relationships last a lifetime. There's another sphere in the professional front, a sphere where you work as a part of organizations. They can be city-based, they can be state-based, they can be national, and they can actually transcend global boundaries and have international repercussions. These organizations also work as a team. There are leaders, and then there are team members, and they bond with each other as a family. I speak to you today about one such person, a person who comes from a small city. Davangiri, a gentleman who epitomizes this city, which is called the Manchester of Karnataka. I ask myself, what did I know about Davangiri before I got to know this gentleman? I later found out that this is the Manchester of Karnataka because of its textile mills, which make it famous. But for me, Davangiri relates to this gentleman. And it's not just Davangiri. He has created a network, a family, a huge family of three and a half thousand doctors, which are no longer limited to India, but has transcended the Indian boundaries. These are doctors who require his support, who have bonded with him, have become a part of his family. And all the examples about nurturing relationships that I talked about get defined by this one gentleman. Today, we have a network of three and a half thousand doctors from a specialty of pulmonology who feel supported, who bond together as a family. And I think there's no better example compared to what this gentleman has done in nurturing and supporting relationships where professional and personal relationships have become one mesh, one network, and it epitomizes what Valentine's week and the relationships are all about. I present to you this gentleman as a part of today's webinar. Hi, hi everyone, uh, Raja Bhai. Uh, I'm beyond words to thank you for such a lovely introduction uh, to the entire uh, panel sitting here. And where is Kinjal? Kinjal, I want to see you. I'm here. I'm here. This is for you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Great. great I'm using my tension stress on you because you <laughs> called me so late. 
<laughs> I'm using my anger on you, so because you called me so late. <laughs> sorry for that. Extend it, sir. Thank you. No, thank, thank you, you Dr. Hari Kumar. That was just for fun to make these people laugh. Uh, you all did wonderful, and uh, Raja, bhai, always love you. Uh, best, very good friend of mine for that introduction. Um, hi, Mansa. Hi, Atri. Shabani, beti. Hi, uh, um, Hari Kumar ji. Hello, hi. Hello, sir. What's up? Hello. Hi, 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 Shabani. And happy anniversary to you and Ma'am. Happy anniversary. <laughs> happy anniversary. Nineteen years anniversary, of married sir. life. Nineteen, nineteen years. Sir. That's really amazing that we can have a webinar on your anniversary. Thank you for <laughs> giving the opportunity. Happened. It happened. It happened on February seventh. Belated missions. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, February seventh. So. Uh, uh i yeah now it's like 19 years of married life nice. so you're talking to a old person <laughs> and uh, uh can you please um, make the viewer screen bigger i want to see uh, utsav's uh, son there a uh, daughter i believe utsav who is yes, she 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 make the screen huger the viewer screen huger for her uh yeah so that's how bring her, bring her on the viewer screen we know that cute baby Nanvi, say hello. Yeah, hi. Uh, we are all coming to your. Bacha, 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 we are all coming Generation three. Ah, sir, I I let it be easy on her. She'll be whatever <laughs> she wanted want to be, and it was the same for me. I I decided to be whatever I wanted to be. Will My eldest sister, you know, she she we are all warriors in this family, and she decided I want to be a, I want to be a, a you know a, a, do an MBA and be somebody else. So okay. that's how it has always been. It's yeah. a choice in our house. We take the choices. We do. We do whatever we want to do. That's how we have. We, uh, we have grown up. We live up to our choices. Thank you so much. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Looking at her. Okay, so because we are running out of time, I would like to tell that uh, I haven't written down anything. I'll just speak straight from my heart today. So we all have heard regarding a story, wherein na uh, uh, we hear a guru giving a. Uh, one stick each to 10 of his disciples and ask them try to break it and they break it instantly then he bundles all those 10 sticks and gives it in the hand of each and every one no one can break that so that is how the story is that how cca begin i started with a whatsapp group of 50 people initially way back i, I believe 6 years 7 years down the line then it has now become 3500 pulmonologists pan india so i think uh, there is a old saying also that um, time place and person matter here time platform and people mattered it was actually very important for us to realize that old story of uh, a bundle of 10 sticks is very difficult to break and cc proved it here you can see in cci that state a long wage religion caste has no bar barrier nothing and no senior junior barrier no degree barrier whether you are md or dnbr dtc dr dm no barrier regarding that we are all together so this is exactly called as a law which fits in in chest council of india and that is suitable for the valentines day occasion so the pure law i think everyone agrees uh, with me here that whenever cca event is there it's like uh, a marriage function a family marriage function we enjoy so much together that it's like a family marriage function happening there there is no senior junior difference there is no caste religion difference we are all together and this could happen only because of the unconditional love between each and every member towards its other member now the era has begin wherein the seniors and juniors could interact with each other daily and in detail whenever they want and they they meet each other 
somebody like dr atri is known pan india and somebody is like uh, dr rajadhar also who was who is known pan india already now he is known more inside india because the reach of cca is huger than compared to any other way of looking at it so now ravi doshi or let it be my jansari even our kinjal modi for that add on list mansa will be getting added there and uh, never the case kumar utsav being himself the son of a celebrity also he showcased his talent so much in cca's physical and virtual meetings so this all came together and brought in cca so i was just i am i was just a medium i am a ju just a medium even as on today so it's all the love and affection of uh, these 3000 friend pulmonologists upon myself and uh, this uh, love and affection in between you all here which is taking cca to newer heights day daily every day hope this continues every time Happy Valentine's Day to each and every three thousand five hundred pulmonologist inside CCI. So, uh, I think that's it. I am speechless because uh, of such a royal uh, introduction from Raja Dhar and uh, so much. I think I am the most blessed in the entire India that uh, I am the person who is loved unconditionally by three thousand five hundred people, and uh, this is a rarest, a rarest, rarest God gift. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Kinjal Bhai. Krishna ji, I think Krishna ji, I already told you in the initial part. We have Krishna and Narayan, both forms of the God Vita. Basically, you yes, are Narayan Pradeep. Definitely, your activities, your activities, your mode of a uh, mode of the uh, mode of speech, and no, no. the way you inspire people, it matches your name also. <laughs> and Krishna Thank ji, you, Narayan I, Pradeep. Also, uh, nevertheless. without him this i couldn't have brought this where it is today it's a right hand so no doubt about it uh just to announce that as you were there on the show to uh, to address all the people around we have around 4000 logins so that's exactly, a great exactly uh, i was about i forgot to tell uh, that effort, i forgot uh, to tell uh, that we have uh, around 4000 logins yes Thank yes yes i so forgot much. to mention that so that was basically amazing that we could have uh, such a uh, logins coming up on uh, such uh, peri medical topics also <laughs> <laughs> we had already done a very great uh, world record also earlier so we are heading for some small small records also nowadays so thank you and uh, thank you uh, <clears throat> my uh, uh, like whenever i appear uh, uh, i don't know it's like a coincidence also maybe uh, there will be so much of logins thanks for that love and affection uh, those who logged in thank you so much thank you so so, uh, so you please you guys continue uh, Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and uh, God bless you all. Uh, we shall see you, everyone each other soon at Napcon Varanasi. I'm coming there. Please, every one of you, come there. Don't without fail. It's not CCA. It's not ICS. We are Vasudeva Kutumbam, and uh, we are all together. Uh, I support Napcon Varanasi. I support ICS. You support. And look this. Look at this. I hope <laughs> everyone is looking at this. Definitely. So best wishes to Napcon Warna. Say I am coming there. I support it. You all come there. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Krishna ji ke pravachan ho gaye. So basically, Bhagavad Gita nikal gayi. So bolna, aur to karna hi padega. Okay, so, guys. Carry you, on. You, carry on. Ji. End soon. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for bye. being around. And you have provided you. A, a great digital medium for all of us, basically, to interact and be around, so that there is no barrier among all of us. Thanks a lot. Thank you. so in interest of time will be bit hurried and i will ask, uh, also want my panelists to bit shorten your answers for the questions which are coming up i uh, will try to wind up in 10 to 15 minutes now so basically please uh, uh, continue and uh, bear with us for some time uh, dr atri uh, just to so tell something about that uh, there was some time that we were passing uh, around covid infections from such a long two years So when you entered house after visiting your hospital or OPD, what was the feeling inside your uh, yourself? That would you able to pass infection to a family, something like that? I was very scared during COVID time. It was something really scary because I knew people, other doctors who were at the forefront, who fell ill and who did not survive. There were two and. 
two unfortunate incidents in my immediate family also i was really scared at that time but there were two things one which dr raja that dr krishna was just now telling that cci is a very big family one thing we knew myself my wife we knew that if something happens the cci family would be there with us number one and secondly at that time my wife supported me like anything means inside the home also we used to strictly practice social distancing because i was potentially really infectious at that time because i was running a covid center of my own so basically we had separate rooms we used to eat separately maybe we used to talk to each other from one room distance just looking at each other face from one room distance i had to take such precautions to protect my family at that time sure i really appreciate that and uh, ma'am i just want to know one thing that you must be also having some fear because you are non medical person so that yes. covid was news news was telecasting as the biggest disease and the most great pandemic no one yes. will survive now so all those things coming in your mind and your husband being a chest physician seeing the uh, covid patient what was feeling going in your mind that time actually i can't express my fear at that time uh, i would like to thank cci because of cci uh, webinars i have cleared my very doubts so i was very scared very much nervous but sir krishna sir boosted me uh, he told me let atri go you can do one thing you can do prayer and uh, i really um, i was very very nervous at that time one day atri also told me that my state my city is in danger so i have to go out so i had to support him and uh, i just supported him i tried my best and yes i will again say that cci at that time helped me very much though i am not a medical person but i try to understand and uh, uh, clear my doubts through the webinars i used to watch and now till a date i try to watch each and every webinars it's very difficult for me to understand each and every points but yes the language you use is very simple and i would like to each and every doctors though i am not a medical person but yes it's very difficult time it was a tough time each and for each and every one of us thank you very much for supporting so sure. it's a hats off to you ma'am for your courage and uh, letting dr atri to work for the society thank you ma'am uh now i'll get in dr manjula for last few questions uh just we are uh, getting all the relations bonding everything together fine fantastic but what if there is some some notch or some kind of a conflict in this relationship so what can be done for that how we can identify them so madam we want to know how to at basically if the relation does not uh, gel well then how to realize them and what can be done to make the relationship work can you please answer those questions ma'am thank you Yes, so we are combining the last two questions in this. I hope, Doctor Kinjit, and yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, so the main problems, as we already spoke, where it comes is one is because we are habituated it, to it, but particularly if you see in a relationship where there is not enough listening, uh, then the problem crops up. Uh, what do we mean by listening? It's uh, you know, it's just not listening to the other person, but listening completely. uh like for example if i tell that um, i'm hurt then as a human being you get another argument in your mind saying why are you hurt so listening is not only listening to the other person but also listening to the argument in your mind and not allowing it to come up and listening completely that kind of listening you know it heals and the second thing is blaming uh this is one uh, sure recipe to spoil any relationship uh, very easily we blame each other in partners and that should be avoided completely the moment we blame someone we are gaslighting them and we are making them feel very very guilty so it's not a good practice it's like attacking the other human being okay and then there is uh, something called denial also when we have done something wrong or the other person feels it is wrong then instead of denying we should say uh, that all right now it has happened now what do we do about it and then begins the skill of forgiveness or whatever you know 
So these are some uh, four points which will spoil a relationship, blaming and attacking, you know, and denying and uh, not listening properly. But there are a few evidence-based practices which help families to be together, to bond well and relationships to work well. Number one is shared activities. Shared activities has a lot of research evidence. So what do we mean by that? That is all the family members uh, need to do some activity where everybody is involved actively. Now watching TV cannot be a shared activity because we are passively doing it on our own, though all the people are sitting there. A walking can be an example of shared activity where every day you go at the same time, uh, you know, silently for a walk. A playing carom board can be a shared activity. Eating together can be one. Going to places can be one. Doing mindfulness activities or whatever Dr. Hari has taught us, doing that together as a family, all these can be shared activities. And a, a family that does all these activities together will definitely remain together, will have better communication. And, uh, you know, there is attention given to each member of the family. So there won't be any attention-seeking behaviors, basically. And then uh, communication is important, but we come from a country where uh, this kind of uh, communication is not there much. So what I would say is uh, telling each other of their goals, the companion or the partner, the spouse, uh, the father or the son, uh, they can share their goals with one another. Look, this is what I'm planning to do in my life. What would you say? Then if it is good, if it is asking for suggestion, you would you can give suggestion. If not, you can say, I definitely support you in this. Let me know how I can help you in all this. Rather than me giving the advice, I take suggestions from the other person who has shared the goals with me. And also sharing our weaknesses, frankly, is important. A mother can tell the son, look, I'm not a great mother because I don't feel like cooking all the time or I'm not interested in keeping the house clean. Would you like to help me out in that? Because that's my weakness. So there's nothing wrong in sharing and communicating this aspect in a very frank manner. And as we said, uh, creating experiences is important. Uh, by having those shared activities, we create experiences because those are the things we remember mostly in life. So these are a few tips how we can nurture relationships and happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Thank you. A very nice message coming from yours and Madam, uh, but you can nicely say sharing is caring. So that is share whatever you can, whatever emotion, your uh, weaknesses, whatever you said, but share with someone so that your care and your affection definitely will rise. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Madam, for telling us and letting us on that uh, conflicting issues or basically a uh, relationship is going a bit downhill and then getting it back. So that's really helpful, ma'am. Thank you. And the points you told, everyone should keep in mind not to blame anyone and all those things definitely helps a lot to improve our relationship. Now we are coming towards the end of our show. So basically, I like to say that as Krishna, Krishna ji told that we had so many panelists, I think for the first time, so many uh, coming up together for a uh, event like this and from everywhere around the country, if we say, so starting from the West, if you, have, if you want to start, basically me, myself, Dr. Kinjir Bodhi from Hinduja Hospital Car, Dr. Mahesh from uh, Mumbai, and Dr. Mansa from Mumbai. Then we had the extreme side, that is uh, Calcutta, Dr. Rajadhar there. From the North, we had Dr. Uh, uh, Samarya sir and his son over there. Then from the South, we had uh, Nasir sir, we had uh, Hari Kumar sir, and Manjula ma'am yourself, and none, uh, uh, none but not the least, Krishna sir around basically guiding all of us uh, uh, to make the event a great success. So at the end, I will ask all the panelists to give that, uh, uh, what you call closing remarks. So that one month sentence of your, your side as a Valentine's Day gift to everyone. Thank you. We can start with, I think, Mansa. She is the uh, youngest among the panelists today. So Mansa, you can start. I would Mansa, just... Are you, yeah. Uh, I would just close by saying that uh, we always have our complete life uh, running after career. But uh, what is most memorable for us is relationships. And during COVID or whenever we just see, we just, just saw one thing that people were there 
on the beds they were just thinking of one thing in their life though they have accomplished a lot of things monetarily but they were just thinking of one thing in their life that is kaash wo mere paas hote ya kaash wo mere paas hote kaash main last bar ek, ek bar dekh pata to i always think that ki relationships should be given the utmost importance in our life and of course valentines day is that god so a very happy valentines day to everybody thanks mancha thanks uh Dr. Kumar Utsav, uh, are you around? Yes, yes, very much so. You are closing the remarks, dear. As uh, so I love the idea uh, of uh, this, uh, this is a very unique event. So much more apart from what I want to say, I want to thank Dr. Manjula and Hari Kumar sir for some, ex- you know, tremendous things that you have told. Uh, you know, life, pro- possibly life-changing things, and uh, you know, it's very important to maintain that. You know. for a young person like me success is too important but at what cost that cost is not family that is the most important thing i just like to share that you know however successful you will be it doesn't matter if your family are back home you you are not there for those moments just okay. be there for those moments happy valentines day to everyone and okay. welcome to napcon varanasi definitely thanks a lot thanks for invitation dear we definitely be there uh dr atri sir and shabri ma'am Sh- shabani ma'am please uh, your closing comments yeah. two quick tips young doctors out there please be away from people who give you negative opinion regarding relationships be away from those people secondly it is never about doctor doctor couple doctor non doctor couple never compare your relationship with other people relationship or never compare your present relationship with your past relationship seize the moment enjoy the moment find joy in the smallest of things keep your ambitions low treasure the time with family happy valentines day everyone thank you for the opportunity happy valentines day everyone thank you and aap bhi kuch bol dijiye No, it's all common statement. <laughs> okay, um, have faith on your partner. Please tell each and everything of your life to your partner. Don't hide anything. Your partner or uh, your wife or husband, he is the best one who can understand you, who can support you. So just be best friends. That's all. Happy Thanks. Valentine's Day. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. And uh, now we are coming back to the our main uh, cusp of the two heroes we can say or the two pillars of our our uh, webinar today, Dr. Manjula Madam and Dr. Hari sir. So they basically, as as we all know, psychiatry is very dejected field and arey, what to pagal ke doctor something like that. We always has a at the back of our mind, but we don't understand the psychology is each and everything we do, every feelings we feel. Psychology does play a role over there, and we need to understand and how they play and how they. create feelings inside us emotion relationship was nicely depicted by manjula madam and hari sir today so manjula madam your closing remarks today. yes coming back to that question why relationships are important i think i would dwell on that a little more um no, no there's one beautiful quotation in english if you meet the buddha on the road kill him it sounds violent but what it means is no help can you get from outside everything is inside you no human being can show you the way it can be the best psychologist uh, the best guru the god the religion books whatever but then how do we change how do we know what our problems are if nobody can help us so then you know we need a mirror a mirror in which we can see ourselves and that mirror is nothing but the mirror of relationships my relationship with another human being is the best way to let me know what i am the way i behave with a beggar the way i behave with a minister the way i behave with my patient with my partner with my child with my neighbor all these are beautiful re- mirrors which show me from time to time what i am and if we are you know consciously deliberately looking at it we get to learn a great deal from it thank you thanks sir thanks for nice comments thank you ma'am and uh, last but not the least hari sir definitely we want something out of you also a tip yes, for the 
happy valentine's mm-hmm. day to everyone all of you just uh, keep the love symbol this is our heart and uh, this pause meaning is yes thanks for soulful not stressful p stands for pleasing not pressurizing o stands for openness oneness and uh, u stands for unconditional it's not business then final s stands for synergistic so soulful pleasing and uh, oneness unconditionally and uh, synergistically the final e stands for entertain and to educate empower enjoy and enlighten so that is a spouse so happy valentines to everyone as manjula madam said you should listen to your the so called uh, relationships so you should give space to them you should encourage them and actively listen them and uh, give the gifts to them and uh, act of service involve with them and uh, gives value value time to them so all these things makes our relationships uh, much more stronger a lady came to me sir my husband won't listen and won't appreciate he eats like kumbhakarna but he won't appreciate i asked him why you won't appreciate if i am eating more what does it mean so taste is good and uh, second complaint by the lady he always watches the tv he won't appreciate he will appreciate the ftv models not me then i asked him why you won't do that i he said i give lot of time to her but it is not the quantity time it is the quality time let us all uh, appreciate our own relationships because once we lose the relationships we it is very hard to build those relationships happy valentines day thank you hari sir it was really amazing to listen all the steps out of you and uh, the uh, minomics of spouse was really amazing nice to remember throughout like that thank you sir uh at the end i would like to say thanks to cci to all uh, viewers basically present here all my panelists and as a ending statement i would definitely like to say that valentines you know, valentine may be anyone in your life maybe your parents your spouse your children your friends anyone but just remember they are like flowers you may be having the best flower in your hand at that stage at your stage at at one time maybe at some point of another the flower may go away you might be having some thorns which is uh, hurting you but to definitely have one more ahead so always be positive in your life as everyone told you that first valentine should be yourself you be positive in, in you so that everyone around you becomes positive so that optimistic feeling we are this ending our show thanks a lot thanks everyone around happy valentine to all of you let us all meet at varanasi definitely sir definitely and thank you for being Love around till, thank you. till 10 o'clock pa- 10, thank uh, you so much past to 10 thanks a lot thank you thanks everyone much